All right, guys, Andrew Roberts back here at the HP event this evening with David Fishman. How are you doing tonight? How are you, Andrew? Thanks for coming by to see us. No problem. Thank you. Um, we just noticed you guys uh, seem to have jumped back into the handheld business here. Well, you know, we've been in the handheld business with IPAC since April of 2000, and today represents the biggest expansion of the IPAC line since the beginning of the brand. We're introducing five new devices along with a, a set of software and services and accessories to make this the most complete solution offering that HP has brought out to date for the IPAC line. Okay, so before we actually jump into the hardware, tell me about the software and services. How does, where does that fit in? Well, what we discovered as we went out and talked to customers is that there was a, a real gap in their ability to address um, uh, what they wanted to make mobility a business platform. So in order to make mobility a productive business platform, they, took, well, they came to HP and they said, you know, back in the days of the PC when everybody brought their own PC from home, you guys really helped kind of get IT into the game help them manage their devices or you know their, their, their PCs you know help give them uh, tools provide a, a set of software and services to make it easier for IT to kind of make the PCs behave even though everybody had a different PC can you guys do the same thing for uh, mobile devices and we said you know this is a good time to do it because networks are getting fatter and faster devices are getting a lot more powerful so the software that we brought out is um, largely enabled uh, about helping both IT and end users make the platform work together. So one example of a service that we're bringing out is called the Custom Touch um, uh, Configure to Order Service. And what it allow it, uh, an enterprise to do is to order a lot of as small as 200 devices and set the registry settings, install their own certificates, preload their own applications, etc. Um, another example is our Enterprise Mobility Suite, which is a systems management platform specifically for mobile devices. So if you're in a cab in New York City, which would be challenging today since they're all on strike, actually only half of them are on strike. So if you're one of the ones that's not on strike and you lose your device, you call your IT guy to say, hey, the guys who are driving today, they got GPS devices, but I can't find them. Can you kill my device before someone takes it so they can do a remote kill over the air and lock out the device, and that way your data is safe. So these are the kinds of software and services that we're bringing to market to make uh, mobility a more productive platform for business. So let's jump right in and talk about these things. Let's start. I'm guessing this is a lower end and we're going to go higher end as we move to the, to the left there, right? Uh, in fact, that's the case. Uh, this is our 100 series classic handheld, classic PDA. Um, it is uh, the thinnest PDA we've ever met. It's uh, made. It's about uh, 13 millimeters thin. And um, it uh, runs the Windows Mobile 6 Velcro platform. Did I say that? It runs the Windows Mobile 6 uh, uh, classic uh, platform, offering um, uh, you know all the good things that come with that for a big, uh, big developer community. Um, one of the things that we think it'll be particularly useful for is for people who think smartphones are just a little too smart and need bigger screens instead of those little screens and little keys. So, you know, presenting your email, presenting your contacts, presenting your calendar in kind of a big screen uh, and paired it with a simple phone like uh, a Motorola, Rail Motorola Razr, this would be a good device for you. What's the price on this? Um, so this uh, price varies in different places, but I think it starts at $299 in the U.S. Here we have the IPAC 200 Series Enterprise. Uh, what's different about this one? So what we, one of the things we heard from enterprise customers is, hey, we have applications that run in the VGA form factor, 640 by 480, and we've got a lot of extensions like barcode scanners and uh, compact flash that, uh, that runs um, uh, on the GSM networks. Can you guys give us a device to let us take our applications into that space? And so we built this not only with that big uh, VGA form factor, but with a, a 624 megahertz processor, which, you know, you think back just a couple of years, that's a decent spec for a PC, right? So by putting that in this package along with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, a lot of memory, uh, uh, um, uh, an SD card for expansion, uh, we think it'll be a really useful uh, device for uh, vertical uh, enterprise applications like line busting in retail or um, uh, you know any other kind of networked application that works over Wi-Fi. Okay. What price does this start at here? Uh, this I think starts at 449 in North America. Okay. And on to the IPAC 300 series. This actually looks a little different. This looks like a, your standard GPS device. Um, so uh, it may look like a standard GPS device on the outside, but on the inside it's got some really interesting features. First of all, um, it's built on the centrality platform. It's a new chipset platform that was recently acquired by our friends at Surf. Um, what the centrality platform offers is a dual-core dual core high-speed processor over 600 megahertz that provides both 
uh, acceleration of uh, GPS information as well as graphics information. So uh, it can not only run through the uh, the data more quickly, but provides complementary applications like uh, you know music or video and so forth. And let me let me just jump in here because. I have to interrupt because what I'm seeing here, if you can, if you can get in on that, is this looks like a 3D uh, model of a of a city here. This does not look like your normal 2D top down or bird's eye view. Um, what's going on here with that? So um, what we what we've done is we've integrated uh, not only an HP uh, user interface. So this is not a, a mapping interface you'll find on any other device, uh, but we've also incorporated maps and, and 3D data sets to make a more enhanced navigation experience. So that what you see on the device is a lot more like what you'll see when you look out the window. That, that's amazing. And uh, when is uh is this already out? Is this launching today? Well, these are, uh, they're all being announced today, and they'll be uh, out in 30, 60, 90 day intervals uh, over uh, over the days ahead. What's the price on this one? Um, this one starts in the U.S. at uh, I think 4.49. Very nice. And uh, okay, so here we have the 600 series Business Navigator, and um, this is where we start to see the marriage between GPS and um, and these other iPads over here. Is that correct? Yeah, so uh, PDAs and 3G phones, um, one of the things that we've learned in talking to business customers about the marketplace is that there, there's a real broad variety of application needs, and they want us to offer them devices that will run these networked applications in ways that fit the needs of a particular business. So one of the things we heard was, hey, can you give us a big screen, but we don't want those teeny little keys, because we need to give it to people who don't have teeny little fingers. Can you give us like a 12-key phone with a big screen? Uh, um, and uh, and powerful networking. So we packed four antennas in this device. It's got uh, uh, tri-band HSDPA 7.2 along with quad band edge, so you get global coverage. But it also has Wi-Fi and GPS and Bluetooth. A lot of radios uh, with a big battery, uh, 1590 milliamp hours, uh, as well as this big screen that you can see here. It's um, uh, 2.8 inches. Now a couple of features might be a little hard to see on the screen. Maybe if you guys can zoom up here. Um, in order to optimize for one-handed operations, one of the things we did was we added this touch wheel at the bottom that you see in a lot of MP3 devices. You can barely see that, but it's uh, yeah, very nice. Right, so what it does is it allows you to scroll with your hand so that you might use the other hand for something interesting like steering the car. Um, so that's uh, you know that's one of the interesting uh, interesting features we've added here. Um, I, it also includes a thumb wheel on the side. Um, which you can also use for uh, for scrolling. And uh, again, because this is Windows Mobile, it offers support to that big community of Windows developers. Uh, what business business users were looking for is a platform that they could develop to with the same kind of uh, development assets that they already had in place. And uh, what's the uh, starting price of that one? Um, we haven't announced the starting price for this one. It's going to vary in different countries based on different uh, different deals and different packagings and bundles with different carriers. And moving on to the last one, I'm guessing this is the new flagship model, the uh, IPAC 900 series. Yeah, the 900 series is in the you know the 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 well trod um, uh, QWERTY messenger market. A lot of uh, a lot of devices in that space. But this device has a number of things that really set it apart from all the other offerings uh, in the marketplace. First of all, um, as I mentioned, uh, for the 600 it also has those same four antennas. It's got uh, tri-band HSDPA 7.2, it's got the quad band edge, it's got uh, Bluetooth 2.0, it's got Wi-Fi and it's got GPS. In addition, it's got the biggest battery uh, of, uh, I think, any uh, 3G device that's out there today with, uh, uh, I think, 1,940 milliamp hours. So that'll really give uh, you know, a lot of power for almost any application, a full day of talk time, uh, you know, never mind being able to run, run your apps at uh, high speed. It's uh, optimized for uh, for the email use case, as you can see from uh, the the QWERTY keyboard layout, and offers uh, you know integrations with the classic email packages, most notably Microsoft Exchange. One of the, the the big changes that's happening in the email marketplace today is that Microsoft has really stepped up to provide mobile mail solutions, not only with uh, the push mail that's in both Exchange 2003 and Exchange 2007, but has really optimized the interface here on the uh, on the device itself to make email work. Uh, much more easily, and that way you don't need things like middleware servers. You can run the mail on your own networks uh, rather than on some proprietary network 
So a lot of innovation there to really make this device stand out over what's otherwise a crowded field. Certainly, certainly. Have you guys announced pricing on this one yet? Uh, s same deal. We haven't announced the pricing on this, and it'll vary from country to country based on local arrangements. Okay. And um, time frame for release? Yeah, this is probably in the 90-day, give or take, uh, range. Again, roll out in different countries, different markets, different carriers, different kinds of relationships. Well, thanks a lot, David. We appreciate you showing us the new IPAC uh, series here. Andrew, a pleasure to talk no to you. No problem. Have a great time in New York. Definitely. Thanks a lot.